Welcome back to the channel. I have something super cool in store today. Here I have some cod that I caught when I was in Alaska and I'm going to be putting it up against some walleye right here from Lake Erie. So we're going to do a little taste test, fresh water versus salt water and I also have something else kind of cool in store. Some mushrooms sourced from, from some woods around here. But first I'm going to take you back to Alaska and show you how I caught this cod and then over here to Lake Erie and show you how I caught some of that walleye. Start reeling slow. Slow? Yeah. Check, reel, 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 reel. Yeah, okay, it. He slipped right up. Yeah, he slipped right out of his mouth. Drop it back down. Sometimes I'll start it off slow just to see if he got it. Yeah. He's teasing us, that's all. Yeah, it's, it's down. Just see him It's like, it's done. Here, put it in the rod holder. Oh, I didn't. I totally forgot a rod holder was there. He's digging. He's trying. Man. Nice. This is my plan all along, Peyton, was to take your ride. Oh boy. Is that a Pacific cod? Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, so that's a cod. Right there. Take the rod out of the rod holder and then just walk backwards. Good gracious, that's nice. Holy cow. That is nice. That is what I'm talking about right there. That's so go ahead and let out some slack and then you can set it back in the rod holder. I don't know how much to give you. Nice. Right there. That's a nice fish. That is nuts, bro. Yeah, he's about to bleed real good. Oh god. He's about to cut my finger out. Yeah. Just lip him. Yeah, just lip him or hold him in the gill, one or the other. Hold him in the gill. Caught my hand up. Fish. Yeah, nice fish. Good picture. That's good eating right there. That is nuts. I think we'll probably hit him on the uh, a little bit further back too. Okay. Here, I'll try that while you keep casting out that way. I'm gonna cast back this way. Oh, there's one. Oh my God, that one smoked it. That one absolutely crushed it. This one's gonna be down its throat. It's all right, you keep reeling your fish, I can net it. All right. I promise I you it's down its throat. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a big walleye. <laughs> For reference, that's definitely a big summertime walleye. That might just be it. Oh, come here, buddy. Get him. Nice. That's a big summertime walleye right there. <laughs> that's at least 20. I'm gonna throw him, throw him on the measuring stick. This is a nice treat to come home to. Right there. Let's see. 20, yep, yep. 20 inches. And we're hooked up again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, another good one. Another good walleye? Yeah. Okay. I got the net. I love how we're using the tiniest net ever. 
Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that one's bigger than the last one. <laughs> He's off. Nice. Don't want him to get back. Man, look at the colors on his head and everything. Hold him up in the sun for a second. Jeez. We're having a better day of walleye fishing in the middle of July than we do jigging for them in April. And just on crankbaits too. See how his gut runs all out over here. So the flays aren't as big as they may look. So I did the same thing. Oh, angle just to avoid all the gut same as rock it's not as huge of a blade as I think and these are a pain in the ass to clean there's no limit on them. But most people just limit their boat. Um, what the captain wants to do. Just how many clients you keep. Is there a way to target them specifically? No. When you're catching halibut. I mean, well, there's yeah, there is. There's actually just some places it's just loaded with them. Oh, yeah. You know one of those places. But like, you can see this one. I kind of cut it in the yard. And it just got all right there. And then... It looks like you miss a lot of meat on these fish all the time, but it's actually right behind it, and just straight down. You don't get much off of them, but as much as you would think, it's still a big play. Yeah, it's still the cotton, like. And if you see a worm, it's not good news. Well, here I have some of that cod and walleye. And they look eerily similar. If somebody told me to tell the difference between the two, I would just tell you this is a bigger walleye than this one. But other than that, they look just about the same. Bloodline looks just about the same. Got them all processed up already, obviously. I've shown that tons of times. So I figured the best way to put these two head to head was to do a beer batter challenge. Because I feel like walleye is very good beer battered and that's kind of what it's known for and the same thing with cod, so let's give it a try. All right, here we go with the beer batter. I've shown this before, but to show it again. Should have brought out a knife. Just dump it all into the bowl there, and then just take a heavy beer or a flavored beer. And then I normally add more liquid than you probably need, because I like it to be a little runny. I don't like it to super coat the fish. Please. He's forgetting everything. Unprepared, unprofessional. now that we got all that ready to go and if I wasn't the one that cut up this fish I probably wouldn't be able to tell you which is the cod and the walleye but you can also kind of smell a difference this one smells a little bit more like seafood I'd say and then this smells like came from a lake but just gotta batter this stuff up and into the oil. Okay, and a reminder, when you're deep frying or beer battering anything, once it gets golden brown, it's done. It, I promise you, as long as it's thawed out, it will be cooked through. And that is looking golden brown and done. And there's our plate of cod. Time to cook up the walleye. Okay, the walleye is done. Now it's time to taste test. 
Okay, now it is time for the taste test. And the only person here that doesn't know what is what is my mom. This is Julie. Hi. <laughs> so go ahead and just try whatever one's with, or whatever one you want to try first, and then I'll tell you what they are after you rate them. Yeah, which one's better? for the cod right there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it now. Cod first. That might be hard to beat, but anyway, here goes the walleye. Hot still. <laughs> I don't know if I can decide. That is like, they both taste the exact same. I don't know, you gotta try them. We'll go one, one for cod, and then a tie for the two of them. So you can be the decision maker. I like, like fish. <laughs> well, I guess. Are you gonna try some of the mushrooms too? This is the chicken of the woods. Just dusted it in some buffalo wing seasoning. It tastes like mushroom, really. Deep fried mushroom is what it tastes like. All right, you ready? Yeah, this is the cod. How was it? That was, that was actually good. You actually liked it? Yeah, awesome. I did. It's like the seasonings on it, whatever you put on, it's good. I like that one better too. All right, Cod wins. Yeah. All right, we'll get we'll get a couple more people in here. Patrick, come here. I need you to try something. Hey, let's have some fish. Woo! Are we doing a walleye? What are we doing? All right. So I'm not gonna tell you which is which. But All right. I'm try a piece of this and then a piece of that. All right. on that other plate is something different. What are we on here? I'll tell you when you're done. I just seem like cod. We got one, you, one for two at least. Mm. This is a cod. Much cod. It's good. Good juggling cod. Which one you like better? Hot cod. I like the spice on it. It's mm -hmm. spicy. You guys are all cod then? <laughs> all cod. All right, well. I'll be the low one out. I think I like the walleye more than the cod, but I just think I'm a, I'm true to my roots. If I had to say anything. All right, oh. one, one more thing. Go ahead and try that. It's supposed to taste like chicken. It's a mushroom, though. Holy shit! That does taste like chicken. That's good to know. Probably like it. Yeah, I like it too. Probably like it. That's really good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Alaska videos, go check them out. I'll leave them in the description below. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>